Dr. Jeff with NeuroFit, and I'm going to go through some of our neuromuscular uh, reset or muscle and joint activation um, exercise. Now, first, who is this for? Okay, this is for basically everybody. Okay, so if you are an athlete getting ready for an event, we're training. This hurts for you. Also, if you are suffering from chronic pain, uh, complex regional pain syndrome, chronic inflammation. Stroke, any, any one of those type of things, this is also for you. So we do the same thing to get an elite or professional athlete the edge that we need to do to get someone with chronic pain or a chronic injury, okay? Because it's all about enhancing their neuromuscular system. If we enhance the neuromuscular system of an athlete before he goes and trains, it's not the stronger muscles that make you better or stronger or faster. It's a better nervous system reaction time and whether or not your muscles are firing to initiate that movement or your muscles could absorb the force would demand it. So when you jump up and you land and the, the, your muscles contract and while it's lengthening, that's absorbing force. We need that to happen to prevent injury. All those same things go true with someone who's got like a complex regional pain syndrome, chronic injuries. We need to enhance their neuromuscular system. So we're doing joint mobility exercises and again, muscular reactivation. So the reason why I'm doing this on my own uh, instead of having a subject here is because a lot of times you're gonna be on your own. Uh, if you're an athlete, preparing for an activity, doing this right before uh, your event will get all those muscles firing, get those muscles to absorb force. Uh, if you're suffering from some type of chronic injury or, or illness that we're working with, uh, you can do this on your home so you do not depend on just going into a clinic or the, the office and get the, the therapy. So, okay, I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do is just do one side just for time's sake, but you would typically be doing this on both sides. So what we're going to do right here, we're going to take one hand. So what we're basically going to do, I guess before we get to this, is we're going to start at the bottom of the foot and I'm going to work up to the uh, hips and back. This is just going to be a lower extremity. So basically, in the simplest form, what we're doing to the muscles, we are going to put in the electrode and use the 500 contractions a second to like a mild tingling or a mild contraction. And what we are going to do is start at the bottom of the foot and put on the muscles. Then we're going to take the muscle through the, its full range of motion. So what we're doing is the muscle's contracting and then we're lengthening it eccentrically. Okay? And then we're doing some like quicker pyelometric stuff to, um, to get that muscle going. Then we're just going to move up to the joints and do some joint uh, dynamic joint mobility drills. Now some of these drills I, I got from Z Health. If you want more specifics on the specific uh, drills, uh, look up Z Health. They have great little joint mobility drills. What we're doing is doing those drills, but we're putting the, the Phoenix waveform over the joint. So we're basically trying to reestablish the connection or enhance the connection between, between the joint and the brain. And we're just going to work that all up, all the way up. So uh, these are some guidelines for you. Uh, by, by no means that this is the only way to do it. Uh, we've had people just put it on their muscles and do yoga or their regular stretching. It's fine. If you're an athlete, you could do this, uh, this mobility type of stuff before you do your regular training. Um, or you could do this before and then have the, the Phoenix hooked up to your like other arms or your muscles, let's say you're a baseball player and you have specific mobility drills that you do before. You could hook this up and do the same type of thing, just, just mild contraction and then do your regular mobility drills. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take one pad, bottom of the foot, the other pad over the ankle. And again, you would do this on both sides. Now, if you're an athlete or you're just just moving from mobility, you could work through this a little bit faster. If you're suffering from some type of complex pain syndrome or injury, uh, stroke, something like any type of injury, neuromuscular, we're not definitely we're not. Let me rephrase that. We're not treating stroke. Okay. What we're trying to do is just try to make the legs and joints the best possible they possibly can. Okay, so if you're using this as some type of uh, a rehab or therapy, this could be a therapy session, and you can take your time. You don't have to go through it, you know, faster. So what I'm going to use is the um, I'm going to use the Phoenix Hunt 
which is 500 contractions a second. And I have it on the bottom of my foot and my ankle. I turn it up, I got a little contraction, feel nice, good tingle. So all I want to do right here is stand on my toes, up, down, up, down, a little heel walk. Lift the toes up to the front, up, down, basically up and down. Now we're going to just kind of do some uh, of the Z Health mobility drills where I'm opening up that lateral joint space. Open it up. Open up the inside and opening up the front. And again, like I said, if you are doing this as an athlete of a movement prep, you could do 5-10 reps, move on to the next thing. If you're doing this as some type of therapy, you could do uh, longer. Um, so now I'm just going to do some ankle circles, both sides, flex down, general. Press pause, and then go to anterior tip. Anterior tip, gas rocks, unpress pause, comes up. Again, I'm going to do some heel walks. Stay on my toes. Toes up on something. Again, just a little toes, heel walks, just a little bounce. Pause. Knee. A nice little tingle. Ankle circles. Ankle circles. Sometimes you may need to take a wrap and wrap them up. And press pause. Feet up. And a toe. I like grabbing a couple of weights. Try to go down a little bit further every time. This is on the hamstring and the calf. Then just some butt kickers. Hold it. I'm going to put it on the quad. Now, and again, we're basically just putting it on the belly of the muscle and then lengthen that muscle. Put my quad and my glute and turn that down just a little bit. And deep squats. Again, we're having the muscle contract while it's lengthening so it can absorb. Force. Quad to head ducker. And I'm going to take this on the glute and put it back on the hamstring. And pause. Head ducker stretch.
Like I said, I'm going through it fairly fast, but if you're doing this as therapy, take your time. Like kicks. Slide kicks. And press pause. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a splicer. So we're taking one lead, put the splicer on, and making that one lead to two leads. And what I'm going to do here with this one, I'm going to put one over the hip flexor, the little solos, the other one on the back. Taking the other lead, using another splicer, Take that one lead to the two lead. Now this lead is going to go over here in the gluteus meat. And the other one's going on the boot. So we got, out of only one channel, we have a pad on hip flexor and the back, glute med and glute max. Unpress balls. So this is a great one. I really love this because you're feeling this just through the whole the whole hip. And now we would just do some hip drills. So up and out. Ankle circles, or hip circles, I mean, sorry. You want to the side too. back circles. So a lot of times these are as guidelines but what will happen is you'll put this on and then you'll find a little movement and go oh I, I really like that. So that's fine to move into that. Like again yeah, these are just these are just guidelines. So again that's the hip. Do some squats. Drop down, do a lunge. We have it in the back, so we want to do some lumbar circles. My whole back just popped. <laughs> So, in actually that short amount of time, basically hit all the muscles and the joints of the lower extremity. Um, so that's a good place to start. If you have any questions, uh, drop me an email. Like I said, if you're doing this as a movement prep before some activity, you could run through this fairly quickly. Just maybe five, 10 reps. Um, lengthen the muscle and then do some of the quick pilometrics. If you're doing this as a therapy, this could be your therapy. You could spend in a half an hour or an hour just doing what we did.